collective this is a healing to abundance check-in read thank you angels thank you guides for your wisdom inspiration guidance protection your kindness and of course your presence with us so this reading is for folks that have been going through um, the process of healing trauma all kinds of trauma doesn't matter whether it's physical spiritual emotional I went ahead and pulled some cards to make this reading go a little bit faster because I am going to do a tarot reading for you. We've got the star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. You're being reminded to tune in here to be authentically yourself. Be devoted and committed to this process is what I'm hearing. We've got the warrior. Know that you have the capacity and the strength okay, to turn the negative into the positive here. And to let go of those worries and fears and doubts. It's about transmutation. Everything that comes up for us is an opportunity for growth. We've got the fortune teller. Be open to possibilities and trusting your intuition here. Okay? If you're just starting out, you will learn to develop this. This gets easier. But start to develop a daily practice. That can really help. We've got the healer, number 24. You and possibly someone you care about need to be healed from the effects of past trauma before things can be resolved to your liking. Okay? Now, we can only take care of ourselves, collective. My soul family. We cannot heal other people. Okay? If you really want to take that energy that you'd like to put towards somebody else, put it on yourself and be the role model for them. Okay, we've got the gardener here, number 36, weed out negativity and toxic thoughts to clear the way for new growth that is sure to come if you take care and heal your life. Okay, know that there is a promise here, okay, of abundance, of help through this journey. You are not alone. Many have taken this path before you and many will take this path after you okay is what i'm being called to say to you here this is a death and a rebirth here okay that card looks scary but notice the green okay it's about losing not losing it's about letting go of what no longer serves you okay i know pain can be horrific here all right it's about moving through that shadow not around it we don't deny it. We go through it into that rebirth. We face our fears. Okay. We've got the six of swords. You will move into calmer waters and you will have carried all these lessons, hard won lessons. These swords are hard won here. There is a, a, a dawn after the dark. Okay. You will be moving into, into uh, more comfortable spaces here. And in the meantime, learn how to do that for yourself, okay? Know how to create that sacred space so that when you need a rest and a break, you can go there whenever you need it, okay? Whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional, it should be a combination, right? Whether it's spiritual, develop a safe space for yourself so you have a place to rest. Four of Wands here, you are building on really solid ground. This is a card of rest as well. Number four is you do all this beginning work and then you kind of take a breather here and let things grow a little bit. I feel like your emotions are really, um, you know, kind of really prevalent for you right now. So again, it's about moving through them. What tools do you have that you can use to help you work through the emotions and then in the middle of that have you developed a practice that you that you can use to take a break when you need to take a break okay because i see you all wanting to move forward and this is the the dawning here this is the the card that's telling us that there is newness coming in for you and it's very solid here it's a wand it's going to it's going to grow it's nurturing what else do we have for those Healing right now, healing to get to their abundance, healing to just feel better. I know that can be part of it as well, just feeling better during the day. Get out and take a walk, get into nature, do some breathing exercises, do some journaling, listen to some meditation, some music, go dancing, right? Just turn it on at your house and dance around the room, take a bath. 
Okay, there's going to be celebrations. This could be a union. You're also being called to kind of unite the divine feminine and the divine masculine that's within us all. This can also be seen as a marriage card, a union of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Okay, and this is done in love and notice the flow of the water. All right, as you practice this stuff, it will get easier for you collective. Trust me. I am living proof that you can do this. Anything else for the collective? Yep, all of them on the floor here. Yeah, we've got the Ace of Wands. This is a promise from the divine here. Okay, this is coming in for you. It will come in for you. There's also a page of pentacles. This is about spiritual growth and financial growth. It will come in. You have to go at your pace. Because you want to be authentic. You are creating a new life here. And you want to be authentic. Follow the voice of your soul. Be devoted and committed. Okay? And you will be moving forward on target. Rather than moving forward and going here and there and zigzagging all over the place. If you align. Okay? With that. that put the divine masculine and divine feminine together. Keep an alignment you're going to be right on target. There's a thing, you know, about working smarter, not harder. Okay, we can make things hard for ourselves sometimes, collective, when they don't need to be. We've got the lovers here. Again, this is about uniting the divine feminine and the divine masculine, whether it's a card that's coming in for you. I will say, if you are in the process of healing trauma and you try to connect with another person, you will probably connect with somebody that's in the state, same state, both positive and negative, right? That might be what you want to do. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is just be aware, okay, that you're going to be attracting the energy that you're putting out there. I've got the King of Cups here. Wow. Now, the King of Cups is very stable. He runs a kingdom, right? He is able to give love and receive love in equal measure with balance, with grace, with alignment, okay? He's also able to help other people. We have the nine of cups here. All right. Oh, sorry. You're going to have plenty of choices. Divine love is, you know, surrounding this man. He's got the peacock, the luck card. I don't know if you can see it. Or peacock feather here. Okay? This is what you'll be coming into here. As you go through this process, your abundance will be here. And there will be love for you. If that's a concern for you, maybe you're completely by yourself with like no supportive blood family, no soul tribe, no soul family. It's okay. Keep going. It's about mastering and self-regulating, right? Your emotions. We've got the death card here again. Death and rebirth. You know the process, right? Seven of rods. It looks like you guys are staving off. But notice it's not the five of rods where you're engaged in it anymore. He's up there and he's just kind of saying, Hope, oh, that's enough. Right? Just keep disengaging from the stuff that no longer serves you. Keep finding ways to put your energy into productive, healthy spaces and places. Anything else? Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. Got nothing more in this deck. I'm going to go ahead and pull an oracle card for you folks. We have for those healing right now. Healing to abundance. Remember, it's not about the trauma. It's about healing to abundance. Okay, emotional, spiritual, physical. Thank you, angels. What do we have for our collective, please? Healing into abundance right now. Thank you. First card out here, we have the serpent. Knowledge and healing, number 23. Shutting old skin. Uh, the Ouroboros, which is the uh, symbol that doctors have, right? The wands with the the wand with the wings and the snake going around it, right? It's a, it's about healing, shedding old skin. Okay, we've got the novice number five. All right, innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity. 
Okay, go slowly. Go at your own pace. Self-care is paramount, important, most important thing. Tracking uh, to identify your, be, you know, your emotions, how long they take, what tools work to, to, to help you get through because you are coming into abundance here. Okay? We've got communication. Number 41. How are you talking to yourself? How are you talking to others? What energies, what are you thinking about that you're putting out into the world? It's really important right now that we're looking at how and what we're doing and starting to change that. Um, I have a video short up that talks about what to do when you're triggering. It gives you some ideas. Uh, it talks about neuroplasticity, which is retraining the brain because this burden, number 43, that can also go to a seven is holding you back. Okay, collective, I'm going to do a health card and then an affirmation. What do we have for those folks healing to abundance, please? Okay, we've got meditation. Dear Archangel Raphael, please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus upon peace, health, and wellness. That's where your focus needs to go. Alternative medicine, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to the ideal healing treatment modality and for giving me your clear signs and messages to validate the best path for my well-being. Yay. Be open. Ask the questions. Okay? Find a doctor that will work with you. Find a practitioner. Go get the tests at the Western Medicine and then go to a practitioner. And, and, you know, then make decisions. Get informed. You are in charge of your life. Your life is in your power. Thank you. We've got, when you check your own mind properly, you stop blaming others for your problems. You recognize that your mistaken actions come from your own defiled, deluded mind. So it's basically about stepping back about seeing what thoughts we have. It's not about blaming others. We find ourselves right here, right now in this moment. This is what we can do. This is what we can control. Start there. Forget about other people as far as your stuff, right? Focus in on what am I doing right this very minute that is benefiting me, that is going to add to a productive, healthy future. So collective, I hope this has been helpful. Oh, I'm sorry, I always do one of these and I almost forgot. These are awesome, keep it simple cards, right? What do we have for the collective today, please? Healing to abundance. Strength, ask Archangel Michael to give you strength today. Say to yourself, Archangel Michael makes me strong. Okay, we have a whole spirit team that is out there to help us. Your ancestors are rooting for you. Even if somebody that's passed that maybe did you some real harm. Trust me, they're rooting for you. They're rooting for your bloodline, okay, to get healthy. We also have forgiveness. If you feel bad about something you have done, your angel forgives you. So forgive yourself. Say to yourself, I forgive myself and feel good again right? Wish. Tell your angel what you wish for and look forward to a surprise. I wish for, and then say thank you, okay? It's not about expectation. It's about gratitude. Collective, my heart goes out to you. You are not alone. We are all dealing with our own inner battles. You will make it through this. Just keep going. Thank you so much, Spirit, for your time and your energies, for your messages. Take good care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be kind out there.